good morning no good <laughs> good afternoon it's about four 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 o'clock so Saturday I am on my way to a family dinner my brother is home this weekend before he goes back to school um, the hair as you can see is in a very different configuration um, <laughs> in the past two to three days I've been trying to uh, curl my hair with a straightener uh, it has not been successful um, and not only am I failing miserably I am also damaging the out of my hair so the plans of dying it this weekend are probably not gonna happen I'm you know, or cut the ends first as much as I can and then hair mask it for a week and then maybe die at the end of next week okay so the first time I did it I was like oh you know my reference point for it was like maybe five years ago whenever this uh, hair tutorial was like the biggest thing like how to curl your hair with a straightener do you guys remember this it was like a really big thing and everyone did a tutorial on it and their hair always looks so pretty and I think I obviously attempted it at that point in time and I couldn't master it either um, so I don't know what possessed me to just want to try it again but I did and I failed the first time so it's like okay maybe I should rewatch some of these videos so then I tried it again still not cute <laughs> and uh, I think like when I tell you that I cannot do hair, I am not I'm not joking at all. I have mastered like two or three hairstyles, one of which is called straight, <laughs> and that's as much as I can do because this did not work. Like it was like no. I might get comments that are like, "Oh, it looks fine." I brushed it out like a lot and I have like like a cream in it and then I have like two kinds of oils in it like just to hide the the how damaged and fried it looks um so that's been my past few days <laughs> oh my orders that i had told you a long time ago when i was looking for shirts like from like boohoo and shein i'm not even gonna bother sharing with you it's all ugly i feel like i have better luck with boohoo i end up with really cute things sometimes and in fact the harem pants that i'm obsessed with are from Boohoo that I get a lot from them but Shein I don't even know why I try shopping there because it's almost always a bust out of like a whole bunch of stuff maybe like one thing will work out which is like I don't know why I'm, I'm like leaning so far forward when I'm talking to you guys one item out of ten might work might so those things I'm not gonna share with you. Um, I do have some new makeup to share with you. Some of it's PR, some of it I purchased. One of it was like a really big disappointment. Hey guys, okay, so good morning. This area is looking very bare. I haven't decided what to do with it because when I'm filming here, not only does the light keep changing, which is annoying, the, it, the camera wants to focus a lot of what's in the background, even though I, you know, pre-focus it to me. Last week, I shared that I had a Bloomingdale's order in. Two of the items came in, two purses I'm going to show you, and then I have jewelry coming in Monday or Tuesday. So, last time I shared, I want a medium-sized purse, not too pricey, uh, also not necessarily black. Trying to figure out where that happy medium is because, I don't know. I don't want, here's the thing, I notice whenever I try to go outside what I like, and I try to go outside what I like a lot, i.e. like, you know, wearing colorful clothing, blah, 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 like I try to incorporate it, but I don't want to force it because it's just me spending money, taking the tags off, not being able to returning, return it, and then just, you know, having it, wearing it like once or twice to like, whatever. Okay, so here's this bag. It's from Bloomingdale's. I think it's by uh, Bloomingdale's in-house line. Um, looks like this it's a really cute bucket bag and i kind of i really like the way the straps are or the chain it's a nice flat chain the whole thing is really really well made but it just doesn't look good on me when i wore it i was like this is not cute um or maybe it's me just like in my head like i'm like it's so it's so brown and i don't wear brown um so it has a little thing that you just snap in it, so you can essentially keep the entire uh, interior of your purse really clean. And I'm pretty disappointed this didn't work out only because, not only, I wanted it to work out in general, but it, it wasn't very expensive. It was like $54 or something. 
and it's like a really nice bucket bag and you know you just pull it tight and the whole thing kind of cinches together and another thing i like about this one is it's not a very bulky bucket bag bucket bags look great on their own as in like you know like hanger appeal once you get them on your body it just sometimes just looks like a huge appendage that doesn't fit and it doesn't flow with the proportion of most body types and so you kind of have to have this very very casual look but then at that point i just feel like you should just be using more of like a fabric bag because those just drape better so this one i like because it's like smaller and you know it gets cinched and it becomes quite tight but it just didn't look cute when i put it on and you know i mean it does this too but i don't know why you would be carrying it like this okay so that's a bust the other one I picked up is by the brand called Flynn, and it's the, let me see what it says, Jensen Studded Satchel. This is a very beautiful bag. See? Very pretty, and then it has just a little bit of hardware, and my one of my favorite parts of it is the clasp. Very, very nice clasp it's brushed gold so it's not like overly gaudy and shiny the only problem for me this is a personal thing is i will scratch up this leather so badly i'm very good with my purses i don't treat them you know i don't bang them around like that but this is just it's so smooth throughout that just one scratch is going to show it like instantaneously and i'm just scared even just like if I were to open it and like, you know, my nail just ran across it the wrong way, something would be, would happen. But it is otherwise very, very beautifully made. It's quite structured, but it's really simple. And, you know, it's very, um, what do you call it? Like, it's going to hold up really well as far as not losing its shape. But I will just, um, this is, won't fit into my lifestyle. Um, it says, okay, it was originally $2.95 then it was on sale for $2.21 and I had like, a promotion or something so I think I paid 173 which is a really great price for a purse like this adjustable chain strap but it's just it's going back for you know all the reasons I mentioned I'm really considering getting um, one of the HRH chains the largest one it's like 220 and I'm just like oh it's like a lot of money for a chain but the chains look beautiful a B having that chain will make so many of my purses so much more wearable like my little ysl satchel like my kaba satchel i tried getting like a guitar strap belt for it and it works for function but like look wise it's like the purse is a little more delicate than the strap and then i have like my christian louboutin clutch that i love but like having like a strap like a really nice legit thick strap would make me wear it so much more often so I think it might be, instead of looking for a new purse, maybe I should just get a that chain and it will just, you know what I mean? At this point, it's like, oh, that's like a lot of money for a chain. But then it's like, I'll buy that chain and I won't be like looking for purses if that makes any sense. Yeah, I guess. Okay, this next box, Sephora, I put in order because I had a gift card. I picked up this palette along with an eyeliner, which I'll show you guys later. This is from Stellar. And you know, you just go onto the website and you look at what's new, like new arrivals. And I saw this and I was excited because I love the Stellar Concealer. Um, from swatching their foundations and their powders, it seems like they will, they do really great base products. So I was like excited to try out their eyeshadow palette because all that they'd ever had before as far as palettes were like a lip palette. I'm going to show you, okay, first of all, the packaging seems very cheap and it's like that soft touch. So it just feels like it will get like dirtied really quickly it's called the magnetic eyeshadow palette in the shade solar look at this palette like, look very closely at these shadows and tell me what they remind you of or not tell me but just like in your mind from your makeup buying and looking experience what does it look like when i first saw the shadows i immediately was like these look exactly like the maybelline eyeshadows the ones the new, the new city mini palette things it's what those shadows look like, and it also looks like the old iStudio quads. Was it quads or quints? I can't remember how many colors were in them. I think it was four. Okay. And when I swatched them, they kind of, like, they swatched nice, but then they blended away as I, like, you know, really rubbed them into my skin, and I was like, are you serious? This is, like, $42. You get 
a little over six grams of product. So 0.62 or 0.603, whatever of each shade. And I understand this formula. If you are familiar also with Korean shadows, they have this very, very light powdery formula that's very shimmery and soft. So you end up with a lot of very metallic shimmeries that are like lightweight. And then you end up with a lot of more like satin mattes that are a little powdery. It's like a formula that's like, you know, that's the look that is enjoyed like a lot in you know Korea, Japan, all, all those other Asian countries. We like a more, we as in like the Western, more so even just the US, we like a more like, we just like things to be more, like more bam in your face. Like our makeup is much more bold. Um, so, and I just feel like there is some version of this in Korea that is cheaper. And it sell, it's sold at more like a drugstore type level. Like I feel like you can find this palette maybe for 20 bucks or something. Okay, I'm just gonna, we'll revisit it. I don't know what, but I have been, I've had this for a while, like, I don't know, four days, five days, and I just can't decide about it yet, but generally it's kind of negative, which makes me sad. Maybe I have to full on like go into it, we'll see. I have a very small Chinese grocery haul. We have pineapple bun. I really kind of wanted to eat it this morning, but I like fought the urge. Okay, this is just like a little try. Like my brother saw that, this is like our favorite coffee, Old Town Coffee. I really want to go to Malaysia and just go to one of the cafes. I've been drinking this coffee for like since growing up ever since like we were old enough to drink coffee this is what we drink so they have this new thing where it's i mean it's new to me where you it's like in a tea bag and it just has the coffee and the sugar so no creamer it's does it still say three in one though no it's not okay so i'm excited to try this so i just pulled one from my brother's bag seaweed seaweed is so expensive right don't you guys agree but this whole thing is only like five five bucks you get 12 bags such a good price right and this is my favorite they do sunflower seed oil grape seed oil and there's another one i can't remember but i also don't but this is my favorite and look at these bananas like seriously from childhood like since i was a kid and you know you go grocery shopping with your mom she tells you how to like, look at produce she's like you need to find where it's like really wide at the bottom but then that width like carries on through the entire banana and it has to be like like girthy like fat you know okay this is awkward yeah so from childhood my mother has taught me to look for these characteristics um <clears throat> in bananas do you guys like my shirt i showed this shirt to you guys in um the last vlog where i was in the fitting room i think i need to start marking off like whether i bought it or not because when i go into the fitting room usually <laughs> you know how it is like you just really don't buy that much stuff um, but this is like, you know, it's a Bob Marley shirt. It says legend and you know, whatever it's gold. It's black. It's like very, I'm very excited about it. Um, however, I'm very, I think a lot of people might have this, um, opinion. I'm violently opposed. Okay. That's very strong, but like I'm opposed to wearing t-shirts of a band or an artist that I do not listen to. There have been dozens <laughs> of shirts that i have passed on because i'm like even though i'm obsessed with this t-shirt and it fits into my style so perfectly i will not buy it because i don't listen to their music um and i think i don't know why i feel that strongly about it but like i just don't want to be a poser and just because my luck is like someone's going to be like come up to me start talking about this and i'm like i dk you know and i don't know i'm just not into that i look so pale today guys i might need to like Put, you start using the Clarins like that like radiance booster or whatever I need to get some color I feel like I'm not there's like no color in my face um sunglasses are the diff a lot of you guys are buying them let me know if you guys like them I'm excited for us so I don't know if I really need to do any sort of actual groceries I have a lot of food from um, the past couple weeks that I need to She's doing something fancy um, that I need to eat. But I do want to make a broccoli quiche because I have a lot of broccoli that I need to make something with. Um, but I don't have a quiche pan. Or like, 
I just realized none of my pans are meant to be put in the oven, so I'm gonna get some that are. So that's on the list today. Okay, so I did find a little like something to make my quiche with. $2.99 at Burlington Coat Factory, so that was super exciting. I also got this. This is hmm, by Boulder Canyon. It said pineapple habanero flavor. It's like habanero, but there is no, it doesn't smell like pineapple. It doesn't taste like pineapple. I mean, I taste the coconut oil. That looks like that's the flavor. Oh my God, my stomach is growling. I'm like a little shaky. Like I had breakfast at like 7.30 and now it's like three o'clock. So that's that. Okay, also at Burlington, I got these boots. They're by Calvin Klein. I got two pairs. I know that's that stupid. No, it's not. They were 35 and they're like perfect to go with like, I don't know, any kind of pant. They like, I have to try them on to show you guys, but like, it's like a sleek, chunky heel. So comfortable. At Marshall's, I picked up, I have the rectangle version of this, rectangular version, Samsonite. If you see these, so good, get them, plastic. We have some leather wipes. I wanna wipe down my couch and my purses and shoes and you know, whatever. Salted caramel core, sweet cream ice cream, blondie brownies, salted caramel core, very excited. And then I got this Talenti, is that how you pronounce it? Coffee chocolate chip. There was a $1 back on the Ibotta app. So I tried, I'm just gonna try this flavor. I don't know, I've never had this before, this brand. We have some cheddar shells, excited. I think there was 50 cents back on the Ibotta app for both of, like I could use it like three times or something. And I got another bag of my shears, 50% less fat kettle chips, less fat, whatever, but mostly less sodium. Also $1 back on the Ibotta app. I was just like all over that today. Very excited. Why do I keep saying that? Cause I'm hungry. Oh my God. Okay. So prepared the broccoli last night. Um, this could be too much broccoli, but I'm also kind of like, I don't care in that the whole point is to have a lot more vegetables. Six eggs. After buying Aldi eggs for a really long time, these Walmart eggs are a little weird to me. Like, the shells felt... They were very, like, perfect and large feeling. I don't... Aldi is pretty much organic, right? I feel like... Is it? I read somewhere, it was like an article that, like, Aldi is soon to be or is the number one, like, it carries the most organic items, like, amount-wise. I have to look that up. We have some leftover cheese, another thing of cheese and black pepper. We're kind of skipping the onion, I guess. Um, I could do it, I just <laughs> kind of just don't feel like it. Okay, this could be a mess. It could be too small, we shall see what happens. Um, I tossed the half and half in with the eggs because I didn't show you that before and then I put Parmesan on top so you get that like nice kind of crusty thing on top. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, so we did not have any crazy spillage, thank God. Um, I was a little worried, it was a lot of broccoli. Uh, so this is a crustless quiche, obviously. I don't know, did I not say that? It was probably evident as I was making it. So I put a little more Parmesan near the end, the last 15 minutes, I put a little more in the center. Um, so that didn't really get all like crispy, but the edges are pretty good. Um, we did 375 for 45 minutes. So yeah, not bad. Kind of excited. Good morning, Monday morning. I'm excited, I'm like looking over here, I'm like I'm gonna have my uh, my pineapple bun this morning. Um, okay, what can I share with you guys? TV shows. Um, White Gold on Netflix. So it stars Ed Westwick who Chuck Bass, Gossip Girl, right? But in this show, he's working class, and it's a it's a British TV show. So imagine Chuck Bass as the working class. But there's the spin because it's still Chuck Bass, and he has this cocky entitlement, and he has to hustle, and it's hilarious. 
it's fast paced so you don't get bored uh, I have a tendency towards not watching British TV shows not because I don't like them I just get lost um, after like the first 15 minutes sometimes I'm just like mm, I DK this kind of English like I mm. sometimes it's the vernacular sometimes it's the accent sometimes it's the humor whatever you want to call it depending on the show I get lost like I don't understand the references so then I just lose interest obviously when you don't understand something <laughs> um so that's really good that went so fast I'm, I don't even know how many episodes there were I felt like it was on and then it wasn't on anymore um Better Things. Better Things is with Pamela Adlin. Uh, if you watched Californication, you would recognize her. It's done with, she executive produces with Louis C.K. So she's a, she's like the star of the show. So she's like a single mom, three daughters. Uh, I think each by a different baby daddy, but she's an actress and you know, it, it's funny. I mean, it's, it's very entertaining and like, I don't know. I don't want to say it's like a female centric show, but I think females will definitely relate. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, so a lot of you guys are recommending Ozark in the past few vlogs because I feel like I've been talking about TV shows more regularly. A lot of you guys recommended Ozark and I had started watching it, but it's one of those like shows you have to watch. You can't just kind of like have it on in the background and know what's going on. So there's a lot of subtle nuances. So I sat down and actually just started watching it and it is like a lot of you guys said, it's very good. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. Okay, stopped at Trader Joe's because I went to the dentist and they are close to each other. The lemon and ricotta ravioli because, I mean, I guess it's not ravioli, but um, the last time I went to Trader Joe's, someone was like, oh, you free, did you get the, uh, get this to freeze? And I did not. So I'm like, oh, I still see it. Gotta get some. Um, tater tots. I essentially think that out of all the frozen potatoes, don't you think the most potato-y ones are the tater tots, right? Spanakopita. Theirs is really good. The cauliflower pizza crust. Need to try this. And a box of the Body of Christ cheese wafers. I also went to TJ Maxx and I had these hibiscus, um, sweet and sour. So the thinking behind these was that, you know, I get rose petals from the Chinese grocery a lot, but after eating these and tasting these, maybe they're not rose petals and they actually are hibiscus because these taste and look really similar to the rose petals. And just based on how I imagine rose would taste, those definitely don't taste like that. And when I got this bliss bliss stick it's that you you rub it on your feet you know when you're trying on new shoes or like breaking in new shoes I usually get the band-aid brand but I just run out and this is cute you know black stick yeah hi good morning so we're very half done we are going to film a get ready with me uh, probably a more in-depth one than we've ever done we've only done like I don't know like two on this channel <laughs> so I'm going to continue filming. I will link the entire video below because obviously to put it into the vlog is just going to be mm, two hour vlog. Okay, so see you in that video. Okay, that get ready with me definitely took like over an hour. I don't, guys, I will be very honest with you. <laughs> um, that is a primary reason why I don't do them. They take a really long time to edit and but it looks it looks pretty good right I think everything looks really great um it's kind of like an everyday makeup look as you would know okay so we have not been having electricity a lot this summer I don't know what is going on like at work it's like <sighs> I don't know okay anyway so yesterday I didn't work because no electricity this morning it's already it's only like nine ish but there was no electricity. I think it just came back on, so we are heading in. Now, I have a question for you guys. I went to the dentist yesterday, so I've had a lot of tooth teeth situations. So, what is your guys' opinion? For those of you guys who have the experience, implant or bridge? I do know that an implant is the more sophisticated version of whatever, but let me know your experience because 
I've heard a lot of things that are negative about an implant um, but I also don't know maybe it's like specific to that person if it's their age if it's like the health of their gums or whatever so let me know your thoughts on that also what else why else am I feeling like I'm feeling really hungry right now probably from all that uh, the get ready with me oh also guys <laughs> I got a very disappointing text message yesterday. So you guys know that Andrew's moving, right? I had the most perfect gift picked out. And I was very excited about it. And um, he texts me a screenshot, as he's known to do. He will text me his purchases sometimes. So I'm looking at this picture. There's a picture of sunglasses, which is okay, whatever. Then I see a picture of the Tom Ford book. And I'm like, hold on. Well, did you get this book? And he's like, yeah. Guys, you know the Tom Ford book, the black one with Tom Ford written in white that every single blogger, vlogger, person just has? It's like the most bougie piece of decor. And it's this book that you'll probably never read, but it just looks amazing. And if you love Tom Ford, it like, it's just, it has that, you know. So that's what I was gonna get him. I like screenshotted my Amazon list. I'm like, I was getting you this book. Do you guys understand? I was like, this is perfect. Like, I knew it was like the perfect gift. And he's like, you know me so well. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Now I have to think of another perfect gift. Do you know how hard this is? I'm like super irritated. Can you tell? <laughs> I was really irritated for like the first five minutes. Like really, really irritated. I'm like, oh my God. Like I'm like out loud complaining. I'm like sighing. Hey guys. Okay, so time for a jewelry review. Uh, it's Friday. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so I already put this necklace on. This is, I wore this just for you guys. You could see full on. Okay, this is from Bobble Bar. This is the amber necklace. So we know we love this. This is super awesome. I'm considering getting this in the rose gold. Hold on. Okay, so this is another necklace from Bobble Bar and this is in the rose gold. Can we really see a difference? Slightly, do we really need to get the rose gold one? Maybe not. Okay, so here's the review. This one, definite keep, super love, amber. This one is called Abby, and it has the same kind of mirrored chain. This one's in rose gold. They didn't have the gold, so I just grabbed this one because I didn't think there would be like a huge difference. Okay, so let me show you this one. I, <laughs> I just need things to be more, like if I'm gonna wear a necklace, I just want it to be like so much more. So I am returning this. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, it doesn't really suit like, I guess what I would generally want to wear. Like I just, I'm so obsessed with the way that one lays. Now there's another one called Amy and it's three strands, very similar to this look. So this one would drop a little lower. Just from looking at that, there's two layers that are this like disc mirror chain and there's another one that's just like a regular chain. That one just did not appeal to me. So this is the Abbey. In the last vlog, I talked about Bloomingdale's and this brand, it's their in-house brand, it's called Aqua. Bloomingdale's and I say Neiman Marcus have their in-house lines of like jewelry and like accessories, i.e. wallets and purses and stuff like that. And I think they're really great. Neiman Marcus does great bags in-house, I think. I haven't really tried any of their jewelry. So this is a Bloomingdale's in-house brand. This is by the brand Aqua, like I said. It comes on this cute little hanger. Now this one has three layers to it. The chain on this one is only mirrored in the center. Do you see it's kind of etched on the edges? So it's not as crazy shiny. Whereas the bobble bar ones are like, you know, they're very, very shiny because they're a full on like mirrored disc. So I personally really like the way this one lays. So let me show you. Okay, I was magically able to do that without a mirror, which is great. Okay, so this one lays like this. You have this disc area up here. You have another like cute little rope chain here. And then this one goes into a V. And then there's two tassels. So I would have preferred the tassels be more like less tassel-y, i.e. maybe just one tassel. Or if there was gonna be two tassels, have them just like, you know, have like 50-50, like make this one tassel two tassels. Am I making any sense? However, it does create a really nice weight. So when you wear it, I'm showing too much situation there. Okay, so when you wear it, it lays really pretty, you know? So I kind of, I'm very like into this. If I really wanted, I could probably lay the 
bobble bar amber necklace into it for even like more chain action because this one lays a little more imperfect i like that it takes up much more of your neck decollete area so my final review for you guys is this i highly recommend the amber chain like I'm gonna link this one below. It comes in rose gold. It also comes in silver. If I were into doing silver, I would totally wear and like get that one. But I really like this one. It's what I, I think is 40, is it 45 or 48 dollars? It's really up there in price, but I think it's worth it because it really has, it's like, it has impact. You know, it's good. Like when you want a statement necklace, it's very statement. Um, also, Bobble Bar, if you buy from the website, they do this thing where like if you spent, like say this was like, you know, 40, eight dollars you get one point for every ten dollars you spend so that translates to money you can use next so when i bought this next necklace when i bought the abby necklace i had four dollars that i could use on this one to bring the price down i think the abby is 36. i would say that this is good if you like a little less statement feeling i guess like i said before but i'm not for this one i prefer this one and this one at original price was only 24 totally worth it you get a lot of necklace like a ton of necklace let me see if i can show you oh i can it's just a matter of like if i can get into frame without moving the camera okay so there we go this comes pretty low quite we are down here here's my, my belly button is right here that's where the necklace is falling do you know what I'm saying though about the chain? How it's kind of like, it's like a lot of chain. Like I would have just, you know, that's better. This is too much tassel. So I highly would recommend this one to you. I'm totally gonna go look at their other necklaces and their other jewelry from this line. They do promotions pretty often. I got, this is originally 24. I think I ended up paying like 17 or 18. Totally a great price for this. And Bloomingdale's itself does 15% off, 20% off, and if you're a card holder, I think they do 25% off pretty often. They run a lot of promotions. The only thing is like with Bloomingdale's, Bloomingdale's and Macy's, I think, are under the same umbrella, if I remember correctly. So it's kind of like that vibe. Sometimes I feel like Bloomingdale's is a step up from Macy's. Macy's feels a little basic to me in that there's like a lot of Coach, a lot of Michael Kors, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think they make really great stuff. It's just that when I see something everywhere, it really deters me from buying it sometimes. Also, I'm not like logo-y, so like uh, Coach is like less so, but Michael Kors tends to like plaster MK on everything, and that's just whatever. If you have been watching the vlogs for a while, I do thread up, it's like, selling your clothes slash donations so you send whatever you want to like clear out from your closet um if they keep it they'll give you money for it and then they resell it on their website what they don't take you have the option to have it sent back to you for a fee or they'll just donate it so generally i don't have very high expectations for that that's kind of like it's like charity donation but like also maybe get a little money back combination Whereas this new thing, it's called Thread Up Lux. It, so it, it's this bag. Now watch, it opens up like this. Okay, okay. So like my address is on here when they send it to me. But when I want to fill it up with Lux items to send back, this whole thing opens up. I mean, seriously, guys, look how big this bag is. And then this, you know, label gets sent back to them. Amazing, right? Are you like in awe? I'm like in awe. I'm like, oh my god, that's so genius. So, um, it's reusable, so like you just keep sending it back and forth, which is so awesome. Now, after <laughs> my excitement and awe kind of waned after seeing this, it occurred to me that this first time that I'm going to send stuff, I'm going to be okay with it. But as this becomes more obvious to people, the Thread Up Luxe bag, it's one thing when you're sending like, clothing in the regular bags and those bags are very obvious but like i'm sending forever 21 or h&m or like you know like fast fashion items where like let's say it was lost in the mail i would be pissed but i would be like okay whatever those were things that i wasn't um that concerned about okay whereas with this I'm sending them a Fendi bag, I'm sending them three Prada wallets, I'm sending them two Stella McCartney bags. For now, I'm okay sending it, but as this becomes more of a thing, I am going to not, I'm gonna be hesitant, real honest. I'm gonna be hesitant to send like higher end items because if once people realize what's in these bags, 
right? I don't even need, you know, you know, you know where I'm going with this, right? It also has this, um, what do you call this? Oh my God, I know there's a name for this, but like it's supposed to further secure your bag. So we'll see. I'm definitely going to send all my stuff in now. I'll let you know what I think about the return because they're saying that for at least, I don't know for how long they're doing this for, I'll get 100% commission on my Lux items. Whereas with ThreadUp, like their regular like selling price points of what you get back is kind of like, mm. Lastly, I have some PR to share with you. Lancome. I haven't, I've opened them because I've realized that like trying to open stuff on camera is stupid because I, it just takes up too much time and it looks dangerous. So I opened the packages, but I haven't opened the products. Not that it makes a difference. You guys even care about like first impressions? Is that like, do we even care? I don't know. Okay, so this is a dual finish highlighter. This is in the lightest shade. I was just, the more I look at highlighters, the more I'm kind of like, they just need to be, to be safe, just get the lightest one. So this is called Shimmering Buff. Are we having like too much sunlight for me to even show this to you properly? It's okay, next week. Next week we'll see it in like a makeup breakdown thing. I always get so excited. Like if I'm ever sent like a bronzer or a highlighter, I'm like all over it until they send me another, not they, until another brand sends me another bronzer or highlighter. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I know, is that weird? I'm like really preferential with like PR. Not that I'm in a position to like be like that, but okay. This is also from Lancome. This is the corrector. This is in peach, which I already have. Um, also though, it was given to me by Andrew or I stole it from him, whatever you want to call it. So I already know that I like this, so we don't really, we will review it more like detailed, but I don't, we know I like it. Also, it's in the get ready with me tutorial that I have also posted up this week. I know guys, tell me, give me some feedback. Let me know if it was like too long or not enough information. Just let me know. Also, this is the Visionaire Eye on Correction. Now, I'm very, 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 very committed to my cosmetics, like make no mistake, but I'm always willing to try a new eye cream and maybe less so in the past. This year, I feel like every day I look in the, I thought I pooped the corrector. Um, um, I thought, where was I going with this? I was, I'm more apt to try eye creams this year because every day I feel like I look in the mirror and I see another fine line. I understand why they're called fine lines, but they're not fine. I am not okay with it at all. Oh my God, why can't I open this? Okay, so the reason why this appealed to me is as I was reading, as I do, I tend to do reviews of makeup blind. Like I don't wanna watch any other reviews before um, reviewing makeup outside of looking at swatches to determine what color I wanna get. But when it comes to skincare, I read reviews, typically before purchasing or before um, I say yes to a company sending something because if I'm reading and I see that some people experience the same things that I exhibit in certain skincare or certain ingredients, I'm gonna veer away from it because what's the point of reviewing something for you when I know it's not gonna be good? Do you know what I mean? Okay, so this appealed to me because not only is it like an eye cream treatment thing, they say you can wear it day and night. I'm more interested in trying it during the day because it's supposed to be a primer for the under eye. It's supposed to blur and smooth and who doesn't love that? We all love that. And you know, packaging is like really cute. I don't know, I'm just really into, into this. Next up, I have this cute little package. It came in like a box and everything, but like I just like lifted it out of the box, super cute from Doll 10. I have loved their Fluid Drops Foundation for forever. It's a very lovely, beautiful finish, natural finish, but very full coverage foundation. I used to talk about it a lot more because I had it. I still have it, I just haven't pitched it for whatever reason, but it's kind of older, so it doesn't get talked about as much anymore. Oh my God, do you guys see the rootage? You know what? The amount of gray that I have, gray and white, I have in my hair, I've really thought about like just going to a hairdresser's and having it colored gray, like have all of this colored gray. What do you guys think? Would that be hideous? Because at this point, I have so much gray hair. All of my regrowth is essentially gray or, or white. Should I just like completely just go in that direction and stop dyeing my hair like this color? I know, this was a thought I had like earlier in the week and I'm like, is this a really big deal that I'm thinking I could do this? I don't know, let me know what you think. There's also the caveat of like, oh my God, waking up in the morning thinking I look really old because I have like, a full head of gray hair, whatever, okay. You should definitely follow Doll 10 on Instagram because they're so cute. 
it's like sassy and then the woman that is like the creator behind this line is like boss babe always traveling constantly promoting and that's just like what you love to see like you love i don't know i'm just very into seeing women do well and being successful and like you can see it so like you as a like follow or viewer like you can like visualize this happening like it's amazing anyway it's a totally different thing so we have an eyeshadow palette um i haven't opened any of this yet so here we go pro eyeshadow okay look at this packaging though are we into it i'm so into it it's like all these like nude blush shades i mean they did it first kim kardashian okay nothing against kim kardashian love her um eesh. Okay, this looks really pretty do we agree now not gonna lie they have another palette that's very like autumnal like fall tones with like olives and like deeper like warmer browns this is still like totally up my alley i love like this section because i have hazel eyes so i totally enjoy this shade range i haven't used their eyeshadows before i've only used their eyeliners and their foundation and i love both contour palette this is the contour palette. This area, you guys know, is probably not gonna get used because I don't do blush. However, well, I don't know. This is a really pretty coral, and this I could use in the crease if it if it if it comes out mauvey enough. Um, I don't want to do swatches here in this lighting because they're not gonna be good. So we'll do the swatches later. Okay, next we have a liquid H2 Glow highlighter. Okay, is there a shade name on this? Maybe there's just one color. So, packaging very cute. This is very liquidy. Liquidy to the point where I almost feel like it would probably work better as a primer because I'm not getting like highlight in the traditional sense. High Shine Liquid Lipstick. Does that, maybe that doesn't make sense to me. If it's, liquid lipsticks dry down, right? Okay, we'll see. So there's, oh, it's a trio. Why did I say it like that? Those are the colors. Guys, their packaging is awesome. Like not to, I mean, just like the tones I showed you, like those kind of nude blush tones, but like everything feels so nice. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Even like the foundation wasn't like, it's like liquid, like frosted glass with like a dropper, like everything's, okay, I really, I want to try this color. Should we try it? I'm confused by like, is it coverage of a traditional lipstick, comfort of a gloss? Oh, okay, good. I don't know why that sounded really stupid. It's a gloss. Good, 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 good. It's a gloss. Oh, guys, you know, when I see like the term liquid lipstick, I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, I need a mirror. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't even, I like putting this on like half of my mouth right now and it's like the wrong half. Like it's not the top and the bottom, it's like the left and the right. <laughs> what are we doing today? I'm down for this. I'm so down for this. This is in the shade, she's a keeper. Oh, I'm so glad these are glosses. More things, this is a Effort Lash Mascara, probably not waterproof. Okay, then we have two brushes. This is a dual sided one, this looks like number 10 this is a number 14. Hmm. okay what do you guys think do you think this is on purpose this kind of like corgi butt or i think it is on purpose or is it not you know how like certain brushes they do this kind of like dovetail thing so it like a, i don't know okay lastly hydra balm foundation is there a shade um okay It's in the shade light. Oh, is it gonna be too light? This looks really beigey, really light. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that is gonna blend in just fine. Oh my god, guys, I'm like never in the shade light for anything. I'm so pale right now. 
Okay, this more or less wraps up this video. I'm going to wear clothes that are appropriate for work. I literally put this on just for you so I could show you the necklaces properly. Um, yeah, okay. I will see you next week.